So, um, what's the worst thing you've ever done? <laughs> um, I shanked my boyfriend. Okay, before you even think it, yes, it was an accident. We were waiting on our friends coming around for a barbecue, uh, sat out in our back garden. And I said to him, right, I'll go get the Prosecco and the beer and all that. So he was busy getting his barbecue up and running, you know, getting the smoke going and things. Anyway, I grabbed the bottles from the, the fridge and I came back out with all the glasses and bottles. You know, I was going to lay them out all nice on the table. And then I was just struggling to carry them all in my wee tiny hands. And one just slipped out and then they all just slipped and bottles just smashed all over the patio. It was an absolute shit show. Wine and beer everywhere. And I, so I started picking up the big chunks of glass and I just thought, for fuck's sake, now I'm gonna have to go back out to the shop and get more, you know? Not really thinking about the mess or the shards of glass everywhere. I just sort of kept picking them up. Um, that's not the worst part. Next thing I see is a neighbor's cat running through our garden and the, the neighbor's dog, the other neighbor's dog, running through the garden chasing the cat. I know, but don't worry, I, I thought the exact same. I thought, fuck, those animals are gonna get their paws cut or something. And my boyfriend, he must have had the exact same thought because the next thing I knew, he was standing right behind me trying to get them away from the glass. And in the panic, I turned around. I hadn't seen him there. And I managed to just shank him in his arm with a with a big shard of wine bottle glass that I just picked up. I just shanked him in his arm. <sighs> Honestly, it all happened so quickly, my brain couldn't even process with the whole thing. And I felt awful. I mean, how does that even happen? It's like when you hear stories of people in America shooting their family members by accident or something. Anyway, there was there was blood everywhere, absolutely fucking everywhere. It was it was horrific. Meanwhile, the sausages were burning, and I'm vegetarian, and it just it just stank, you know, the smell of burning sausages and blood, and I just had to you know quickly bandage him up, get his arm, you know, with the with the chunk of of glass hanging out with the you know the. The, the wine bottle hanging out his arm and I think I think if we pulled it to be honest I don't I don't know if he'd have he'd have lived because there was just there was just so much blood everywhere all down his shorts all over my dress on my hands it was it was in my hair it was just disgusting to be honest and our friends finally came and we took him to A&E in their car, and in the car I just thought I was going to pass out. I mean the smell of blood and the image of this, this bottle hanging out his arm, it was just, it was just a bit much, you know? <laughs> but, but anyway, <laughs> the dog and cat were fine, and he's fine now, and it could have been worse. Could have shanked him in his stomach or something. <laughs> but yeah, I'm... I'm not really allowed to carry glass items anymore. <laughs>